Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to simulate the ripple voltage that you'd find in this circuit. This circuit includes a sinusoidal voltage source, a diode. It's a rectifier circuit. So I'll show you step by step how to do this in P Spice. And you'll get a simulation that looks just like this one. All right, let's get started. So first to build a circuit, we need an input voltage source that's sinusoidal, diode, capacitor, resistor. All right, so to do that, let's let's start with a new project. Then make sure you are doing the P-SPICE analog or mixed AD option here. And then the location, you just want it to be something like a video, I mean, a folder that makes sense. So YouTube tutorials, P-SPICE, it's my generic folder. And I'll call this a rectifier circuit. Um, click OK. Choose create a blank project and click OK. Once you've created your project, you should see a number of default windows like place part and wiring part and everything. But I'll show you how to find parts you don't know uh, you, if you don't know the libraries or the names of the parts. This is completely from scratch. So go to place. Uh, piece by component. This guarantees that you place a component that can be simulated. It's in the piece by library. Make sure you place a piece by ground first of all, because you need to be able to simulate the circuit. The electrons need to be able to flow to ground. Okay, we need a capacitor here and then it gets attached to my cursor. Hit R to rotate your capacitor or any part. And let's go back to place. Let's place a resistor going to rotate that with R, place that on the end. Let's see. We also need the V source here or V sign. So this is under source voltage sources, sign or sinusoidal. And you place it right there. And what else do we need? We need a diode. So let's see if they have a diode. Here we go. Perfect. Place the diode right there. Hit escape on your keyboard to get out of part placement mode. Now let's wire up the schematic. You can choose place wire or W on your keyboard for short. And I'm going to zoom in. You can hold down the control key and scroll up to zoom in or down. It depends. I'm on a Mac. So the zoom is the, the scroll is reversed. So just do whatever works for you. Okay. You want to make sure that these connections show up with the red dot there. Okay, when you see that red dot, you know the connection is going to be good. And I'm going to drag this ground down a bit. Notice the wire that goes along with it. Hit W on my keyboard to continue wiring. Great. So I choose the end wire by right clicking and choose end wire. Okay, for my V offset, I'll set that to zero volts. The amplitude, make it 1.5 volts at its peak in the plus and minus. So that translates to three volts peak to peak. But anyway, frequency 60 Hertz. AC, I will just leave that alone. I'll get an error if I delete it or anything like that. So click save, then go to P spice new simulation profile, name it Tran for transient or something like that. Then let's set this to 40 milliseconds and then set this to 0 0.1 millisecond. Click apply then OK. OK, and let's run the simulation. Now this little icon will show up in the taskbar and voila, we get nothing. Okay, why is that? Because we don't have any voltage probes on the circuit. So you can go to the markers here or you can go to P spice markers and then you want to look at the voltage level across the resistor. For instance, you can do the regular voltage level marker and that will measure the voltage from this point to ground whenever you use the regular voltage marker. So let's take a look. So this is our result here. This is the rectified waveform. And then from here, you can 
measure you can do some measurements here but i'm going to add one more thing and that is the current going through the uh, diode but if i put the current on going through the diode here onto the same plot i can barely see it i'll just delete it and then i'm going to right click add a plot as a plot on the top then i can right click and add a trace then choose id click ok and then that shows the current going through the diode so that's really cool let's see what else we want here you can change some trace properties like click on the trace uh, change the property so that it's a different color like you know some kind of red or thicker like this then the green make it a different width or thickness click ok then there you go then how do you measure the voltage ripple well you take some measurements so let's see you can mark data points or you can toggle the cursor uh, take them toggle the voltage measurements and results window but let's target toggle cursor right here currently we have the current selected and you can drag this probe here until you find a peak current or you can hit one of these shortcuts cursor peak and then that shows you the peak you see the peak current right around here it shows 501.5 micro amps that is the peak current what if you want to find a peak voltage right you go here click on the symbol for the voltage and then you drag your cursor along there hit that peak and that shows you the peak voltage right what else you can do is use your right mouse button to pull up the second cursor and drag it along but guess what the second cursor is along the current okay so we want to put our right cursor you want to right click on the signal you want and then it puts the cursor on that signal as well so now you put this down here let's see we want the cursor trough it's a little difficult to do sometimes you have to drag it and then do the cursor trough doesn't quite work perfectly but this is good enough right it goes to the next trough it was able to figure it out then you find out what's the difference between those two and that is 664.081 millivolts okay and then all you have to do you have the peak to peak voltage that's your ripple voltage uh, peak to peak anyway and then you can use that in your calculations for when you do the thorough calculation of the voltage peak to peak if you want more information you can look up how to calculate the peak to peak voltage or ripple voltage excuse me in some application notes that i leave in the description below from texas instruments they're really good really detailed but this is how you simulate and find and measure the ripple voltage in a rectifier circuit thanks for watching